Today I'm going to show you how to use a Stream Deck Plus to control Home Assistant. So the Stream Deck from Elgato is a really cool device for optimizing the workflow at your desktop. Original version came out with these buttons and effectively the button has a screen behind it that you can totally customize and you can switch between groups of buttons. The Plus version has this touch screen below it and it also has these four controls that you can use for things like volume. So these devices are really cool. You use them as part of your desktop setup and you can control all sorts of software using the buttons, the volume control, or that little touch screen over there. Now, I wanted to use this device to control things in my home assistant. So today I'm gonna show you how to do this using webhooks. Now to do the webhooks, you do need a Nebuchadnezzar subscription. I will leave a link in below, in the description below of how you can do this if you don't use Nebuchadnezzar, but today we're gonna focus on the Nebuchadnezzar version. So I'm gonna assume that you've already plugged in the Stream Deck and you've installed the Stream Deck software on your machine. From there, what we need to do is go and download the special API plugin. So we click on the Stream Deck store over here, this button, and that will open up the store for us. And from there, what we need to do is download a thing called API Ninja. There we go. So we find it there, we select that. I've already downloaded, this is a free download, but you're gonna wanna download that. Okay, once you've done that, you want to open it up in your Stream Deck. So we'll go back So here. what we're going to do now is create our automation to control the light. So we go along here, automations and scenes, create automation, create new automation, and the trigger is going to be a webhook. So I'm going to go down here to other triggers. I'm going to select webhook, and that puts it in there. Now it does give it this arbitrary name. I'm going to go and change it to video underscore light. You do need that underscore in there. Next, we're gonna click on this little wheel icon and we want that to be available outside of our local network. So we uncheck that box. Next, I'm gonna to go to an action. In the action, I'm gonna select device. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to search for the device, which I have called video light. So this is a smart plug that my video light is switched into. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select toggle the light so that I don't have to have two buttons, one for on, one for off. I've just got one that I click each time that I wanna use this. So now I go and I save this and I'm gonna call this my video light automation. So we go and we save that. Now what we do is we go back to settings Home Assistant Cloud, and we scroll down the bottom here. Down the bottom here now, you will see that we've got our WebSocket here called Video Light. Now what we need to do is we need to click on this little switch on the side here, and then once that is done, this will pop up. Now this is our address that we need to take across and use in the Stream Deck. So we're going to press that button, and we're going to copy it. Now what we do is we go along to our Stream Deck. Now, once we're in our Stream Deck, we wanna select that API. So that API falls under this title called Bar Raider. So we go to Bar Raider, there's our API Ninja, we pull it across into one of these buttons. Once it's in there, we can give that button a name. So I'm gonna call it Video Light. Now, if you want the one to fall under the other, we go Shift Enter, and there we go, your words are looking a little bit better, like that. Now, next thing we wanna select is a request type. This is a post request. And then over here, the URL, this is where we're gonna post that URL that we just got from Home Assistant in there. Now, the only other thing we need to do is to give this an icon. So we click on this little down arrow over here, and we can say, open Stream Deck icon library, that will populate all of the Stream Deck icons that are available. You can download more of these, but I'm sure we'll be able to find something in here. So I'm gonna go along here and I'm going to find a light icon. We'll use that one for example, and there we go. We have now created our button with a link to Home Assistant 
and we have given it a name and that's all you have to do so now you can go along and you can create as many of these as you like and you can control as many different devices from your Elgato Stream Deck in your Home Assistant by simply creating automation with a webhook. So having a look at our Stream Deck now, all we do is press the button, off, toggle on again. Easy as that. That's all for me now. If you've got a Stream Deck and Home Assistant, let me know what you've done with it.